my patients are always asking for my patients are always asking for the best stretches that don't take a lot of time. So here it is, your 10 minute full body stretch. And for those of you who have difficulty getting up and down from the floor, I have a chair stretching video for you that you can refer to. I want you to start off with some belly breathing and you can fast forward to the stretches if you've already watched this video. So putting the hands on the belly and the one hand on the chest, when you breathe in, I want you to only breathe with your stomach. So let me do it this way so you can see my stomach better. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in with the stomach. Then you can continue with the chest and then breathe out with the chest and then out with the stomach. At first it'll feel a little restricted because we're so much, we're so used to being chest breathers so breathe in and breathe out. In this 10 minute yoga stretch essentially, breathing is gonna be an important part and I'm gonna remind you throughout the video. So let's start breathing in and breathing out and bringing our knees into our chest. You can just rock back and forth, just loosening up that low back. And you, if you have a lot of back pain, you may want to just do this rocking action and the hugging of the knees for a while, just to loosen the back up. Now straighten the legs out. With the hands like cacti or straight out to the side. I prefer the cacti. Bring the knee up to the chest, 90 degree angles. Bring the knee across the body. And you can even bring the opposite arm to help that out. And then hold this. And you can hold this position for 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure you're not pushing too much that the shoulder comes up. The shoulder needs to stay in contact with the floor. And you're also getting a stretch of this chest or the pectoralis muscle when you do this. And then breathe in, bring the knee up. And bring the leg down. Bring the other leg up, breathing in. 90 degree angle and breathe out, bringing the leg across the body. Along with this stretch as well, you can turn the head to the opposite side, getting a neck stretch. And feel which side might be tighter. Get an idea of how far the knee is to the floor. This is my tighter side. And so on the tighter side, you want to just spend a little more time there and ease into the stretch. This is really one of my favorite stretches. And now we're going to continue with the sitting positions. And so you want to come up and properly into a proper sitting position. Bring the knees up, roll to the side and push yourself up. And you'll want to do this too when you're getting out of bed. So let's continue with the next stretch. You're going to bring your ear down to your shoulder and then use this hand. And you're not going to pull, you're going to lightly push up without moving your head. So we're in a lateral bending, put the hand here and lightly push up. Making sure to continue with those belly breaths. And let's switch sides. Bring this ear down to the shoulder. Bring the hand up on the side of the head. Pushing up lightly against the hand. And if you feel stiffness in here, once again, keep repeating it. Rotate the head, put the hand up against the side of the head, 
and not pulling, but pushing this way into the hand. And then the other side, bringing the head to the side, put the hand up here, and again, lightly pushing in the opposite direction. For a count of 10 to 20 seconds. Continue with lateral bending, bring the one arm up perfectly straight, bring the other arm down at the mat, and just bend. Making sure you don't roll forward, you really want to pretend there's a wall behind your body. Everything is flat. And drop down, and again, make sure you don't lift up. You want to use this hand to just, just kind of push yourself down. And relax into the side bend. Keeping the arm as straight as you can because you're also getting a stretch all throughout here. And then coming up, breathe in and breathe out. Other arm, breathe in and bend to the side. Again, making sure you're using this arm to push yourself back so your buttocks doesn't lift up. All the way down. Back straight. Arm as straight as you can bring it. And come up. Now we're going to be doing rotation. You can do it like this if you're comfortable. If you want a little more of a challenge, bring one leg in, the other leg on the opposite side. Hug that knee into your chest. Wrap around. Arm up in the air. And then bring it back and twist. Again, the posture is nice and straight. Release it, breathing in. And twist again, breathing out. Seeing if you can increase that twist a little bit more. And just hold it for 10 to 20 seconds. And then the other side. Once again, if you just want to stay with cross legs, that's fine. If you want a little more of a challenge, tuck the one foot under, bring the one leg on the other side of the thigh, bring the hand up, breathing in, and breathe out, bringing the hand behind your back, hug the knee, and twist. Breathing out, and then breathe in, Releasing the stretch and breathe out. And let's continue now on all fours. Bringing the one leg out. You're going to reach up to the sky, nice and straight, breathing in. Turn to the foot and just hinge over your leg. If you can grab your foot, that's great, and you can even pull it and add a calf stretch. If you can't reach your foot, just put your arms either here on your shin or just to the side like this, and relax. And you can hold this for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or a minute. And then slowly bring yourself up, making sure not to use your back. Let's switch legs. Bring the other leg out, back straight, reach up to the sky, turn to the foot, and drop down. And if one side feels tighter than the other, maybe on one knee, your Nose is eight inches from your knee, and this one is 10 inches. You can just spend a little more time to even out the body so both sides have equal flexibility. And then slowly bring yourself up. And then bring your feet together. This is a butterfly stretch. Maybe you can only do this, that's fine or you can maybe bring it a little bit closer to your body, dropping your knees down, 
You can even help with your elbows to drop your knees down. Nice straight spine. You can even fly the butterfly. Loosen those muscles a little bit more. And then hinging from the hips, you can come forward and reach your arms out if you'd like and intensify that stretch. You can again hold this for 10 seconds, 20, 30 seconds, or even a minute. And when you're ready to come out, just slowly walk yourself up. And now we're gonna continue with stretches in the standing position. Standing at the front of the mat with the feet hip width apart, take a deep breath, bring the arms up. And bring the arms down, keeping the back straight and hinging from the waist. And just touch the floor. Stay in this position, stretching the back of the thighs. You can even reach behind, give your legs a hug, shake your head out. This stretch is too intense. You can bend your knees a little bit. And just relax, breathing in and out. Take a deep breath in, drop the left leg back, going into a lunging stretch. And then take a deep breath in, and moving the other foot back, holding it in plank. And this should be a straight line of the body. You don't want the back sagging down or the butt up in the air. This should be a nice, straight line. Drop the knees and we'll go into cat and cow. Take a deep breath in. Lifting the head, arching the low back and breathe out, rounding the back as well as the neck as hard as you can. Breathing in, arching the low back, lifting the neck and breathe out, rounding everything together. And you could do this 10 times, maybe more. If you feel a nice stretch and you're benefiting from it, just continue this, breathing out. Breathe in, dropping the belly, arching the low back arching the neck and then when we breathe out this time we're going to curl our feet under bring our buttocks back into what's called in yoga the down dog and in this position we're going to go to one foot to the other foot putting the heel down and this is called walking the dog and this is going to stretch your calf muscle And then come forward into what's called upward dog, coming into a low back arch. So at this point, the hips need to be on the mat. If you need to come down on your elbows, if it feels a little bit too intense, you can just relax and enjoy the stretch here. One, two minutes, three, sometimes even up to 10 minutes if you have back pain and this makes it feel better and then challenge yourself a little more. Come up on your hands, but never come up high enough that your hips raise up. You want your hips to stay firmly on the ground. And then finally, come back, open the legs out to the mat, and drop into child's pose. This is a nice rest for the low back, but if you reach out with your arms, you're also stretching your shoulders. And come up into a neutral position. Up into down dog again. And then we're gonna lead once again with that left foot 
stretching the right thigh. And if this is difficult for you to get into, if you need to kind of walk and bring your leg forward, that's fine as well. And then continue, bring the legs together and drop the head down and relax. And then from this position, just slowly roll your whole body up into neutral. And that's the completion of your 10 minute stretch. Namaste. We will be launching a new YouTube video every Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. And I'll be available for any questions you have or suggestions for future videos.